This video is for the INFORM project. My name's Jay Cullen and I'm a professor at the University of Victoria. And we're in a laboratory at the Bob Wright building and currently processing samples, seawater samples, that were returned to us by volunteer citizen scientists who are helping us um, through the INFORM project to collect samples uh, along the coast of British Columbia to look for contamination from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster, uh, the triple meltdowns that occurred there uh, in March of 2011. And these two samples were returned to us um, from uh, Powell River and Winter Harbor. Winter Harbor is on the northwest coast of Vancouver Island and Powell River is on the mainland, the Sun Sunshine Coast. And these samples were collected uh, just this last month uh, March, March 6th, in the case of Powell River in the Lane Creek Estuary, and March 2nd, early in the month, up in Winter Harbor. And what you see here are the 20 liter cubitainers that go out to our citizen scientists and are filled with uh, seawater and returned to us. And when we get them, we extract a small volume of seawater for salinity an analysis, and that helps us to determine along with temperature, what the history of the water is, and specifically how much fresh water, mostly uh, from, from land, is affecting the seawater sample. And then uh, we add a small amount of uh, stable cesium. Uh, this is uh, a spike that allows us to determine how much cesium we're able to concentrate and the radioactive cesium we, uh, cesium we can concentrate from these samples. We then pump that seawater using this peristaltic pump here on the bench top through this tubing and down to these columns that are filled with resin. And that brown resin that you can see is a special resin um, called uh, potassium nickel ferrocyanide. And it's sticky for cesium. So almost 100% of the cesium in the seawater that gets pumped over the column sticks to that resin. And ultimately, it's that resin that gets dried and put into a very sensitive gamma radiation detector that allows us to quantify how much cesium was present uh, in the original sample and the radioisotopes that are fingerprint for, for Fukushima contamination can be detected if they're there and quantified. And then we collect how much seawater ultimately goes over the column, uh, we weigh that, and that tells us uh, how we can calculate with the activity concentration, how much radioisotope was in the, the original volume of seawater that was sampled. So, um, these are the Powell River and Winter Harbor samples that were collected by our volunteers um, at the Kelly Creek uh, Community School and um, up in Winter Harbor, um, Phil and Pat Wainwright help us out by collecting samples up there for us. So, uh, they'll be going to the detector soon and I wanted to show all people who are interested and our volunteers what happens to their samples when they arrive here at UVic.